Yo, what's up, what's up? Live from Atlanta, Georgia. That's right. It's New Jack Thriller City, man. It's going down in a major way. I got a great show for y'all tonight, man. But first, let me shout out my outfit, man. That's right. This is Bomb City. Bomb City, man. Bomb City, get at bombcity.com and whatnot, man. Yo, check this out. Brilliant, open mind, become conscious individuals to you. That's right, man. Make sure you go get your Bomb City gear right now, man. But hey, yo, let's get to the subject at hand. I got, man, a very, very special guest inside the building, man. He's a living legend. That's right, ghetto legend. You done seen him on 85 South. You done seen him in Coming to America, man. And you done seen him, you know what I'm saying, at your, uh, uh, on YouTube, at one of the most famous ship leaders in the game right now. Y'all give it up for the one, the only, Nav motherfucking Green. My dog, man. That's a hell of a fire introduction, man. Now you that nigga, bro. Yeah, man. I, I, you, hey, bro, I, I'm, I'm practicing, bro. You deserve more, though. Hey. You deserve more. Nah, I might need you to introduce me everywhere. Like, what I'm going to the gas station and all, nigga. You had me pumped up just then, nigga. Hey, I'm like, yeah. It's my job. It's me, nigga. Doing my job. Yeah. Bruh, man, I'm so proud of you, man. I, I got man. to say this, man. The, the growth is, uh, is this, uh, you know, it's, it's unstoppable, man. You constantly elevating, taking the game to a whole nother level. Trying I want to say the first time I, I seen you was 2017. No, 16. 16. And it was memorable. Jack, I know exactly what you're talking about. Jack, you were hosting that Uptown. Yep. Yep, you had a showcase going on. Yes. You always knew how to hustle and get some goddamn money, man. Yes, 100%. And it's the reason why I, I remember that shit, because I had got into some trouble that same week. What happened? And whatnot. I had got into it with a rapper. Uh-huh. And what? Was that two chains? That's the two chains. Yeah. That was that week. That same week. That shit happened. <laughs> hey, I wasn't supposed to say the name. It, no, I was hoping that you wasn't. Because <laughs> I saw he follow you. He don't follow me and whatnot. I, I thought we. <laughs> he, yeah. we I, follow, I thought you were going to follow me back. I'm trying to get him on the show and stuff. You know? Oh, yeah. You forget that. I already that ain't happening. Yeah. I already asked him. He said, hell no. Nah, fuck Jack. Yo, shit. Damn. So, with that being said, I probably shouldn't <laughs> go to the restaurant, too, huh? You talking about Escobar? Yeah. Nah, don't, don't do that. Nah, nah. That's stupid. Yeah, that's stupid. Yeah, that's they, stupid. They, they, I'm gonna definitely get my yeah. um. See, uh, no, I'm just talking shit. You probably don't fuck with you, man. Man, I need the nigga to fuck with me, bro. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Cause that you, shit old. You, 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 you know what my dream is? What's that? I want him. I, I want him to like bring me out on stage and shit. You know what I'm saying? On my comedy special. Two time? Yeah, you, you know how you know you come out to. Or a, a, a rap song. So and shit. you want a nigga to be performing that shit? Yeah, some some, some uh, you what, what, what I had to, I had the giddy hoe, I had the giddy hoe. Someone to love. I want to do I'm gonna do that shit or do eight town. We got one. Oh yeah, that's hard. That yeah. That whole album, that True Religion album, was hard. Yeah, hey, dog, cause hard. I'm a fan. We we just the, the, I, I just made a mistake. I can tell the music you saying them ain't regular songs like you gotta really I fuck know. with him to know. I know. And I used to come out that I used to come out to um watch out little bitch. That was my shit. Mm. But you know it take a minute for the uh the, the beat to come in and the, you know for it to start ripping that shit. But yeah, yeah. I used to let the whole shit play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my shit. Did you say something like in between that or did you How like you let, walk to the stage bro, sometimes, while it was See with me like on a song? Yeah. If I pick the song it's because I like it. Yeah. Now, if a DJ just play the song, I go ahead and be like, "Yo, okay, you cut it, DJ." And I get into my shit. Mm -hmm. But if I told you the song I want to hear, I might sit down, bob my head, and wait till my part come. <laughs> On stage? Yeah. <laughs> you, and just milk that shit and, yeah. and get in your mode. They right. have to come. Because I want them to fuck with, with it as hard as I fuck with it. And if you fuck with it as hard, you going to fuck with these jokes. Because, you know what I'm saying? Got you. So you saying, hey, this ain't about them. This about you. Yeah. And long as you this shit about you, they going to go with you. Man, what you talking about? I see what you did. Yeah. That make too much sense. I, I I remember you were saying this inside of an interview. Uh, I forget who was interviewing you, but you, they would have, they'd ask you what what do you do when you are doing like a big show with like eighty five and stuff like that and whatnot, and or do you get nervous and stuff? And he was like, "No, nah, I don't get nervous because I already know what I'm gonna do." Yeah, and yeah. so the shit just child's play to me. Yeah, and that ain't even really being being cocky or nothing like that or it's being arrogant. Now I'm well. 
Jane, honestly, it's not, not even being company. I know what I'm capable of doing. So even if I have a bad night, it's a bad night. But I'm not going to have a bad night because I don't put in those. The hours, the reps. Yeah, so if it's a bad night, it's for the crowd. Mm -hmm. Y'all fucked up tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm usually good. Mm -hmm. Y'all fucked this up. Mm -hmm. Even if it was my fault, y'all fucked this up tonight. So are you trying to tell me it is such thing as a bad crowd? No, I think it could be, it could, a lot of stuff could happen. So, okay, so, for instance, with the 85 South Show, it's already, they are coming to see Carlos Miller, DC Young Fly, and Chico Bean. That's who they are scheduled. So, if they see the openers, that's a plus. So, as an opener, you can't go up there bullshitting and playing. You got to come in there and whoop their ass. So, if you have a bad night, they still going to see who they paid to see anyway. So I ain't fuck up your night. Now, they can fuck up your night because <laughs> you paid for them. You didn't know I was going to be here, bitch. Enjoy. <laughs> or don't. <laughs> I'm paid. Either way, pay me. a win pay. is a win. They don't win. pay me. And now, nah, bro, bro, they treat a nigga so good on the road. Dog, you look happy as hell behind dog, the scenes. No, I really like it. You can't fake that shit. No, it, it ain't nothing about it fabricated. Yeah, man. I seen you talking to the, the, the Murphy Lee. Oh, yeah. And whatnot. I like this nigga listening to Murphy Lee with everything the nigga saying and shit. What the fuck is he saying to Murphy Lee? Bro, it's just like. I like to do now. How old is now? You know, you know, if I was just guessing, what would you say? I, I just, I thought you were like 24, 25. Hell shit. no. I'm 32. It's the same shit now. You thought I was 24, 25? Yeah, I did. If only them hoes thought like you. <laughs> them hoes. <laughs> them hoes be calling me unk like a motherfucker, man. Get out of it. Nah, they but, but they don't you, think you, you, you unk yourself out. Yeah, I you intentionally unk you you intentionally unk on these motherfuckers. Yeah, cause one, I feel like once you start, I don't know, just a political way to say. Tr once you start tricking, you automatically unk. Cause your patience thin, like you ain't got time to do regular stuff. So they're like, man, I'm too old for all that shit. Do you want? The, uh, yeah. So you know. What I'm saying? Do do you want the? What, what's the most you? What, what's the most you unking out for the hoes? What's the most I'm unking out? What's the most you unking out for them? Cause I ain't gonna lie, bro. With the price inflation going on right now, that forty dollars shit over with. That shit over with. All that, all that shit over with. That shit. You got to at least come with a hundred. If she like you a little bit though, you you might can still get away with it and say, yeah, hey, you go a little gas money. Shit, it depends on when you gave her the gas money. You remember when that shit was five dollars? Yes, I did. I stopped trying to holler at girl. <laughs> Cause I'm not coming to see you, and bitch, you can't come see me. <laughs> For sure. Oh, and then my car was taking ninety three. I fucked my car up when the gas price went up. Nigga, what, what you driving now? I, I was driving. <laughs> I started putting 87 in that bitch. <laughs> that bitch ain't drove right since. <laughs> yeah! Man, that, that whole 32 day span when the gas prices was just skyrocket high, because it still was high. But them 32 days where it was too high, yeah, I 87 that motherfucker out. Mm. My folks like, put some fuel in jail. I ain't putting shit in there. Mm. Let that shit do what it going to do, man. I don't got no car. Yeah. But, I, Jack, you got a lot of issues going on. I do. Yeah. I, I do. And you, so you notice? You notice what? That I got a lot of issues. No, I I thought I was talking about, like, yeah, yeah our situation. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You you making the shit weird, Jack. I'm saying, is it? Oh, okay this, to, this the elephant in the room. Or nah, yeah, I'm saying. I thought it was something else. I thought you were gonna describe something else. But yeah, so the eye. So like, if it's late at night, that'll be hard to focus with one eye drive, right? Right or wrong? If it was the daytime, it'll be hard to focus <laughs> with one eye. You right. So is that your only reason why you don't drive? It's a very good reason. That, why. No, it's a it's a valid reason. But yeah. you know how some egos be like, nigga, I can drive. 
I'm not the ego oh, type yeah. nigga. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Not even a You don't bit. need to have that when it comes to driving. I know I done killed a nigga before in a car. Oh, boy. I know that happened. <laughs> Jack, sta- what? Statue of limitations is over. Yeah, but don't wh- don't I, don't tell me about it. Now you just don't make me accessory to this shit. If you tell me, yeah, hey man, <laughs> was it in Atlanta? It was definitely in Atlanta. Fuck! I, I I moved to New York. <laughs> you did go to New York. <laughs> <laughs> I left. I started working for Fifty Cent. I changed my name. So oh, that's when you made the change from Honey Bun. That's uh, yeah. So as a nigga was at the hospital, Honey Buns hit me. Yeah. And now you Jack Thriller. And now I'm Jack Thriller. Yeah, Honey Bun hit you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't do shit to your ass. <laughs> what? Hey, you see how Kanye West uh, uh, disassociated himself with Ye? That's how you did yeah, with yeah. Honey Buns. Hashtag not me. Yeah, Jack Thriller has disassociated himself with Honey Buns. Yeah. So hun- anything that nigga did is Honey Buns... Jack Thrill ain't got shit to do with Yeah, honey and buns are no longer together. Okay. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, I um uh, yeah, so I, I I don't I don't I don't drive. I haven't driven since uh oh nine. And uh, Hey, I'm believing you. Hmm? For a nigga just a quick cold turkey driving cold <laughs> you act like I had a smoking problem. Yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, like something I was, happened. I was a driveaholic. Yeah, ain't no nigga just wake up and say, "Yeah, I never drive again." You had you hit somebody for real. Yeah, I did. I hit a nigga for real. I was like, "Oh, I don't need to go back and wait for the police for this shit." I don't know what they gonna do to me, Jack. You the reason why they started four one one playing commercials. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, I, I, <sighs> I, I, it's it's nothing that I'm proud of. Right. And because and then uh, for, for those who wonder, I wasn't drunk. I know. Jack, <laughs> I was sober than Jack, a motherfucker. If you drunk and with one eye, you'd have killed more than one motherfucker. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. I plowed them niggas that down. That shit would have looked like Domino. Yes. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. You ever played the game Drive on PlayStation? Yeah. <laughs> I I, I've to, seen it played. Bro, I. Uh, <laughs> So you can't even drive games, right? I don't drive games either. Yeah. I like to watch people play. I'm one of them niggas. All right. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. It's a bunch of shit I can't do now. I know you, but Jack, you live a hella fire life for a nigga with one eye. (laughs) Just think about it, bro. Just all bullshit aside. Just think about how how many niggas you know with two eyes ain't did half the shit you done did. Done been around all them fine ass women. They got two eyes. And they did half the shit you did. Nigga, imagine if you had no eyes. <laughs> that shit. Ray Charles like. <laughs> Nigga. Oh, you would have been past I would have been blown. You, been, up. you would've been past him. Yeah. Easy. So that one eye that keep you left it's holding me back. That mumble, yeah. It's holding me back. Yeah, 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 for sure. Mm-hmm. Shit, nigga. As a matter of fucking fact, hey, ask Chris Jones if you don't believe me. That, that like, the, the, the same time that I'm describing when I first met you, uh-huh. th- that night, that night, uh, I did the show. I had, I, I was, I was dating this R&B chick. For real. Yeah, I was like dating this arm. Was she chick. on the buzz or she she got some some stature? No, she got some stature. She she. I don't even want you to tell me nah, who, man. You she, that nigga, Jack. Yeah, she she was popping when she walked in and whatnot. I tongue kissed in front of everybody. They were like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, I was that nigga then. Yeah, I was that nigga that night. I, that was one of the dope things about that. She week. still on? Yeah, she still on. Jack. She she still on, but now she married though. Yeah, now she married. Man, you finna have me Googling all kind of shit, man. Just, just, just ask, just ask uh, Chris who it was. Right, but that's the thing about me. I'm I'm playing with... I'm you playing was there. Like, you, was, yeah. you seen her. You right. seen her there. You but probably you gotta remember think, you I'm did. not looking around to see what nigga tongue kissing somebody. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. chilling. So, but I'm not gonna fact check you neither. So if you told me you did that, I trust you. Man, that's what I love about you. That's what I love, because you keeping it player. You keep it, yeah, you keep it play with seven. And yeah, then you I, said she married. What the fuck am I? Nah, that's just gonna start shit. Not a husband looking for you. Um, exactly right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> keep uh, up some uh, shit. You know what? You know what? You know, what, you know what's funny? What? I think that he uh, he nana and the boo boo went with me 
when I even think about it, when all, um, you know. Oh, he know when, about y'all? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he man. like, nigga, this my, this so my look, woman now. So he, okay, that's he cool. don't give a fuck. Is he, he like, successful? I don't know what this nigga do. He, he in really great shape, though. That don't mean shit. Yeah. Them niggas who be in good shape, they die too. 100%. They die quicker 100%. than us. But I'm, I'm happy for them. I'm really happy for nah, them. Nah, I ain't She's trying happy. to put death on them niggas, but yeah, yeah. them healthy niggas. I don't want, I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to kill nobody. You got Hey, speaking of the uh, healthy niggas, you got an amazing joke about meal prepping and all yeah. that or whatnot. And, and I think when I seen you at the project do this shit, uh, I was thinking to myself, damn, man, I ain't never heard nobody to have fucking, you know, meal prep jokes and shit. Man, this nigga is fucking brilliant. Yeah, but it, it comes from me trying. So it's like, I don't just, like, I don't want people to be like, you know how healthy niggas view people? Like, look at this nigga. If you don't take care of your body, you don't love your life. Nick, motherfucker, I tried. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't N- mean Niggas be prep, thinking you want to be yeah. fat. I don't want to be just, I done tried. And now I done accepted it. It's straight with me. Now you done did all that working out. And now you turn around. And now your knees shot, bitch. You can't even walk. And look at a bad built nigga like me. I could I could jog if I choose to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do a little skip, do a little hop. Mm-hmm. Your fucking knees so fucking wore down because you've been doing in the gym, doing all them squats and doing all them goddamn curls and goddamn presses. You know, fuck your damn muscles up. 65 years old, you can't even feel your fucking forearm because you wanted to be the strongest nigga in the gym at 32. No, not me. When I'm 60, I'm going to be that perfect granddad. I can eat ice cream with my kids and grandkids and walk around the yard. Them in-shape motherfuckers, they done worked out so much, they can't do shit no more. Hey, Nev, I used to be fine in the motherfucker, man. Dog, I'm the last nigga you need to tell that to. I didn't, I didn't even, I don't think how that came up and how you felt the need to let me know that. I'm telling you about like healthy and in shape niggas and you just t- tell me you fine. I don't, Jack, you told me you had an R&B singer, so I guess you couldn't have always looked like this. I thought, you, not saying she wouldn't fuck with you now, but she has moved on, hasn't she? Yeah. yeah what, what caused that? I we we was in a long distance relationship because I still lived in New York. And she and, stayed here? And she stayed here, yeah. Damn. Yeah, that yeah. If I was here, then we would have been married. And so my dumb ass went and got married. You done been married yet? Yeah, for about six months. What year? 17, 2000. I got married after I met you. <laughs> and, and divorced right after I met you. So and shit. Action I, and cut. Jack, so tell me this, bro. So, yeah, like, I, I met you in 2016, right? Yep. You hosting the showcase. When yeah. I meet you, you are in front of a bunch of comedians, mm-hmm. tongue kissing, a notable R&B singer. Yeah. You then leave, and you get married. Yeah, that was stupid, yeah. After you just was tongue kissing an R&B singer. Yeah. So what made you like, I'm so lit, let me fuck it up. And now I just realized I'm retarded. Now that I think about it, that, that shit was fucking stupid. I ain't never, I never thought about it like That's that. That's when that one-eye shit, like, it's supposed to just flick in. Like, I'm lit. Why? I'm the last nigga who need to be married. I got R&B singers kissing the fuck out of me in, in Kissing public. the fuck out of me. Most niggas don't get kissed the fuck out of them. Just kissed the fuck out of <laughs> Hey, man. Jack, you really dropped the ball on that shit. Man, I dropped two balls on it. <laughs> it's your second time. No, don't do that on that. <laughs> don't do that on that. You don't call yourself fine. Oh, no, that, that was my balls. <laughs> that was my... Um, it was <laughs> Who only mine. Who was Who was that, the husband? Yeah, the, yeah, one, one, 100%. So how did she tell you she was getting married? I, I saw it on um, Shade Room. Oh, she popping like that. Like that, yeah. You've known her your whole life, yeah. And she's seen. Yeah. 
Dang, yo, Jack, I'm trying to think, hey, hey. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. What's going on? This is Jack Thriller. That's right, man. And uh, if you're feeling down in the dumps and you don't have nobody to talk to, you're just sad and you just don't know what to do. Hey, I got the thing for you, man. It's therapy. It's therapy. And there's nothing wrong with getting therapy, man. It's called BetterHelp. BetterHelp.com. We have counselors online 24-7 that are here to talk to you. And I guarantee if somebody is not fitting your needs, we got somebody definitely for you, man. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to match with a therapist. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. As the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed therapists available 100% online. So if you go ahead and get down with us right now, you can take 10% off your first monthly subscription. That's right, betterhelp.com slash thriller and tell them Jack Thriller sent you. Save 10% off your first month of betterhelp.com slash thriller. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com Dash Thriller. That nigga Jack lit. Yeah, man. You ain't trying to get her pregnant? Yeah, I did. I don't think that I, I got the ability to do shit like that. Yeah, that is a lot to ask for. That is a lot to ask for. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard to get them fine hoes pregnant. It is. It, it, man, but if it was a fucking man, crack Man, ugly bitch, man. Nigga, I would, nigga the first time I stuck you, the head in. You damn near look, look at your dick. You damn near look at the dick. Oh, I think I'm pregnant. No, you can't be, bitch. Yeah. I've been done in this fine bitch all year. She can't get pregnant. <laughs> I don't even put the dick in. Tell them about the nut in this fine bitch can't get pregnant. <laughs> ugly bitch, man. Every time, bro, that that fucking test come back 150% positive, you are the father. Yeah. You That's why people fuck- be wondering, like, how, why, why niggas have an ugly baby mama? That's the one we get pregnant. Yeah, because that night you just refused to check out. Yeah. You, you, you just had to be with a real person. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't technically call them a real person. They were just convenient. It was, yeah, yeah. A convenient person. Damn, so she was on the shade room about her wedding announcement. Yeah. Did you come did you come in them unicorns on that shit? Nah, man, I ain't do nothing. All I did was I was just Oh Jack, you were hurt by that shit. I was yeah, I was in yeah, disbelief. I can tell you how you said it. I was in fucking disbelief. But you bro. got married first. Yeah, and you know what and you know what's funny about that? She sent me a text. Uh-huh. She sent me a text because she was like, so I had to find out you you married on genuine page. That's <laughs> fucked up. Um, so when the shit don't work, I'll still be your friend and whatnot. So just, um, Damn, you know, so she knew it wasn't going to work. She knew it wasn't going to work. She knew I had married a hoe. Yeah. Oh, you did marry a hoe? Yeah, I did. Yeah. By accident. Yeah. That good pussy will do it. Dude. It, man. I nigga. don't know about marrying. I don't wife the bitch, but not really wife the bitch. Yeah, if nigga. that makes I, sense. This, this, this motherfucker got down on one knee, proposed to me. And I was like, shit. She proposed to you? Yes. That's how my life went. That's the type of shit that happened to me. Hey, hey. She got on one knee. You would be a fucked up nigga to say no. You have to say like, no to that shit now. Like, bitch, I'm lit. Yeah, I'm fucking me. Yeah, bitch, you can have me. <laughs> you can have me, bitch. What's wrong with for you? Six months, bitch. Get up. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Please get your ass off that ground, bitch. <laughs> Give me a hug. You fucking stupid bitch. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, yo. It, it, what we, you doing now? I have no idea. Did you get an annulment or y'all got a divorce? I got an annulment and a divorce just in case I won the lottery. Oh, yeah. I didn't want her to get shit. Because oh, it's just my luck. Man, that bitch probably watching this shit want it to blow up. She don't even know you got her man. <laughs> oh, she know exactly what happened. Oh, okay. Did you catch her cheating or something? Um, nah, I, I went to go do a show in Cleveland. Uh-huh. And when I came, I came back home and she had and took all her shit and left. So, nigga, she left you. Yeah, she left me. You made it seem like you, you, <laughs> yeah, I divorced that bitch. Like, 
Oh, uh, where, you, you, you had listen. to after she left. Where, it, it, shit is that? It is a part that I'm leaving out. <laughs> oh yeah, they explain, it's the part I'm leaving out. Because right now they look like the score about even, nigga. I thought you was winning. I pushed her away because oh. it was a lot of things she didn't divulge to me until we was married. Not to get all in y'all business. But I don't you. mind. Yeah, go ahead. Proceed. Yeah. Um. She. She. Uh. She was like. Uh. So yeah, I I used to talk to Marlon Wayans, Tony Rock, um, what, what's his other nigga name? Kevin McCall, John Sally, oh, and Fifty Cent. Fifty Cent. What the fuck? Oh, she used to fuck your boss. Yes. Yeah, that's tough. And so I, I nigga, I couldn't even sleep. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I was tossing and turning every night with this bitch in the bed and whatnot. Well, and you listening to this nigga music like is this nigga talking about my wife? I'm going to work every day looking at this nigga like. Yeah. She didn't suck this nigga dick before. And he fucking with other hoes and shit. Yeah, yeah. cheating, cheating still, on her now. Still being that nigga he Still was. being the nigga. And you thought you were lit. And I thought... Hey, Jack, now this is what you got to think about. Help did, me. Did she propose to them niggas and they tell her no? You the only nigga to say yes. Now these niggas laughing at you like, look at this stupid nigga. He said yes. <laughs> they got a group chat. It's all them in the group chat. With your picture in there laughing at you. With your laughing emojis. With your emoji kiss. <laughs> I, I, I'm, just, I'm just breaking down the facts. What made her tell the truth? Did you ask? No, I, I ain't asked for the shit. She said it's something I got to tell you. And what'd you say? But what were you doing? Did you, Cause you know how, like I imagine in the movies how they be like, sit down, it's a lot to take. We was in the bed. I had my arm around her like this. Oh, up. man. <laughs> you cuddling. We cuddling. You cuddling with all these niggas, bitch. It, Not to talk about your ex-wife, but... Nigga, it, it, I don't mind. It's somebody else. Uh, she married again? I, I don't know what happened to her. She oh, might, that pussy here. I had... No, it was on point. It, it was on point. So she do like funny people. <laughs> yeah. 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 One hundred percent. She got a you, 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 you know what's you know what's wild wild about this shit? What that? <laughs> I, I was so pissed off about this shit now. I stopped watching the Wayans brothers. I threw all nigga, I'm I got all these, mind you, I got all these niggas' names uh, numbers in my phone. Uh -huh. I I <laughs> I blocked all these niggas, even though we don't talk like that. <laughs> Them niggas never was going to call you. They never anyway. was going to call me. But in case they did. In case they did. I didn't want them to be able to reach me. Because you fucked my wife first. You fucked my... Yeah, what the... It's like they they betrayed me because they was... But, Jack, how you think they... They might have looked at you like that. So you got... It's always two sides to that coin. And so they go, man, that nigga Jack done took my bitch. Me and Marlon hit me up one day. Hey, what happened? <laughs> he said, hey, man, you need to hit her back up. Y'all just need to talk. And don't be mad at her. She just got good taste. Uh -oh. <laughs> and I was like, what? Yeah, I think that made it a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, so, bitch, you done went and vented to this nigga about me, bitch. <laughs> so now he know you an emotional nigga. And that nigga know I'm a whole ass nigga. <laughs> That nigga know you pillow talk. He that, know you pillow talk. He know it. That nigga, I talked about it on Drink Champs. And, and the nigga Marlon fucked my bitch, man. Couldn't, yeah, couldn't help it. And Nori, Nori, Nori met her before. And he had said, man, I, I think your wife was, uh, I know you divorced now. I think your wife was not with you for the right reasons and shit. And man, that, that's all I was trying to need to talk to somebody. And I wasn't over yet. And it took me a long time to get over this shit. I didn't even know I wasn't over it. That's a tough way to go vent on drink champ. Yeah, it was. And because we, we, I think we was drinking. Yeah, that's the name of the show. And that's what they usually do. Yeah. You probably didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming. It was an hour, in, hour and a half into it. And you just sitting there venting. You think, you think Kanye went crazy on them? Jack, I don't even want to go see that episode. I don't want to see my boy going out like that. Yeah, I, I, yeah, hey man, dog, I was out of control. But you don't bounce back now, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. Okay. Hey, what's up, man? It's your boy, Jack Thriller. Hey, 
it's all about here, because it's where love starts. Or this, that, it, whatever, maybe that's more my heart. Keep beating. going. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, this is Love According to Music, man. And we're back with Music Soul Child. So music, <laughs> let's get right to it. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, 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 how do you know when you're a placeholder mm. inside a situation? That's a or good question. Career, that's a good question. Hmm. Um, I think I'm going to reference a couple other episodes. There are things that we talked about. Those things are good indicators of knowing whether or not you're a, you're a placeholder. For instance, you know, if so much time has gone on, you know, and nothing is actually official, you know, um, because in my opinion, nobody waits too long to secure something that's that valuable to them, you know, like. You're not going to want something that's, you know, that you that you hold in high regard to just be in the wind. You know, you want to secure, you want to make sure that it's in a place where, you, you know, you have exclusivity to it. You know, not to talk about people like objects, but the point that I'm trying to make is you're not going to be in a relationship that's constantly open and in limbo and, you know, it, it any, anything can infiltrate it. Like, like somebody could come along and make the person that you're in a relationship with change their mind. You know, and now it's no longer up to you, you know. So I think you're a placeholder when, you know, something like the timeline is saying so. You know, it's long stretches of time, but nothing is secure. That gives off the vibe like that person might be waiting on something better to come along or they don't or they don't feel that secure in the relationship. Now, there are other factors that, you know, are, you know, the exception that, that I'm, then apparently I'm not talking about that, but if there's no real obstacles, if there's no real interference, if there's no real reason why, you know, you guys haven't moved to the next level or the ultimate uh, destination, which is for y'all to be a secure couple and work on building a family or, or building an empire or whatever you guys want to do. And y'all just waiting in the wings, waiting on the other shoe to drop. I think that's a good indicator that you're, you're a placeholder. Now, there are benefits, you know, to being a placeholder. You know, that could just be a learning curve for you. That could just be experiences. Or, you know, hey, or, you, know you might actually low-key be trying to get out of there and now they could be somebody else's problem. You know, I don't know. But um, in my opinion, I think that the timeline will, will, will tell it. And you know, it's important for you to be honest, not only about the timeline, but also about yourself and the person um, that you're with and be willing to make some potentially pretty uncomfortable decisions um, to not be a placeholder. Or you might not mind being a placeholder because they might be a placeholder for you. I love it. I love it. This is love according to Music Soul Child. I'll see you next time. I'm Jack Thriller. Okay. I'm back like the McReal, baby. Like the McReal, bitch. Yeah. For sure. And you know this is the last time the McReal gonna be out. That's what they say, man. That's all marketing tactics. Yes. I got a degree in advertising. Oh, get out of here. Yeah. Where'd you go to school on uh, now? You gotta be specific when you say where I went to school is like Where did you get your marketing degree now? I got it. I, I gave myself that motherfucker. <laughs> you, you, you gave us yourself a diploma. Yeah, I was like, shit, nigga, as much as you know, nigga, fuck it. You got a degree in this shit. <laughs> Just as simple as that. Yeah. Okay. Shit, that what the motherfuckers do at the school. That, yeah, this, <laughs> shit. This is all the shit that they feel like you should know yeah. in order to be able to be on yeah. another level. Right. Damn. Now, you just broke it down, bro. Hey, man, I'm smarter than a lot of people. You think, smarter right? than a lot of people, nigga. Um, now, I always, what is Nav short for? My real name. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff, man. How did you get started in comedy? Uh, I always, you know, told jokes in school and was the funniest nigga. I made it my business to be the funniest nigga in my grade. And mm. and then I started thinking, like, bro, that's, like, so minute. 
Were you, were you bullied or were you just trying Hell to be class clown? No. Yeah, nah, Nobody ain't fuck with you. No, nah, not You that, was whooping no, everybody. No, ass. no, no. I wasn't no tough ass nigga, but I never was bullied because I always was like, that's now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. That's, I was always just, just cool. Like, I wasn't never trying to be no tough nigga. Mm. So, uh, but once I got in high school, I was like, fuck being the funniest nigga in the grade because it's it's grades. I, like, I got to be the funniest nigga at this whole school. Mm. So that was my goal as soon as I stepped in ninth grade, to be the funniest nigga at the whole school. Do you have that story where teacher said that you wasn't going to never be shit? No, nah, ain't no teacher ever told me shit like that. <laughs> Did you? I don't, I, I think as a nigga, if the teacher tell you that shit, like, bitch, you got to be a low down, dirty bitch. You went to school four years. You, you can't get to me no way. There's no way you could mentor me and challenge me, bitch. You, I ain't going to be shit. That's, you just going to gave up. You got one year with me, bitch, and you see for the rest of my life, I ain't going to be shit. No, nah, ain't no teacher ever told me shit. One of my teachers in eighth grade told my mom I had gotten in trouble. She was like, I don't know what he's going to do in life, but he's going to be successful. Miss Gant. Miss Gant. Yep. She I was fine? Did. Nah, she was an older lady. She okay. was an older lady, older lady. But that's how I knew she had sense. Because them younger teachers, them bitches didn't get it. Mm. But you kicking me out, and this teacher telling me I'm going to be successful. Mm. I don't need none of y'all class. I only need her class. <laughs> Mm. She the smart one. Mm. So kick me out of physical science, bitch. I don't need that. You a fuck about no rocks? Stupid ass bitch. Yeah, ask me shit. What's the difference between granite? Bitch, you tell me. The difference between granite and marble. I don't know, bitch. Mm. I stay in an apartment. We don't have no rocks. So is that like when, once you learn in life what you want out of it? Certain shit don't even apply. Mm -hmm. So if I would have knew back then, I would have started in third grade. I would have started in third grade not going to certain subjects. So she's like, pull out your phonics books. I just get up and walk out. <laughs> you feel me? It makes sense to me, it, bro. It makes sense. But that's what life, we don't understand that until we don't went through shit in life. Mm -hmm. That's why we went through it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I fuck with it. I definitely fuck with it. Was you ever molested? <laughs> I wanted to be, but no, man. My babysitter was fine as a motherfucker. That bitch would not touch my dick. You be hearing stories like people did that I shit. I be thinking they be lying, nigga. Why ain't you know? no, why are you, why? Nigga, you mad? I was 12 years old. My babysitter sucked my dick. And nigga, rolled what? the shit at me. Why you mad, nigga? Yeah. Shit's I done got my babysitter pregnant. Easy. Easy. Kim you, can't watch you no more. She pregnant. Yes, she can. That's my that's my <laughs> child, mom. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> you a grandma. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man, that's on some shit, like some real shit when I My babysitter mama. My babysitter mama. Babysitter. My ba baby mama sitter. Yeah, that's it. Baby there you mama go. sitter. Yeah. That's hey, man, fuck that. it. Let's make a Tyler Berry play like that. Nigga. Baby mama sitter. Nigga. Yeah, I a live like play and they just start saying, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> Wait, Miss Green, let me explain. <laughs> Who, what, what, what R and B singers would you cast in there? Uh, you gotta, you gotta have two, uh, two old and R and B singers in there. Two old R and B singers. Two old. Explain old though. Like, give me a age range. Well, let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. Fifty five. Fifty five. Fifty five. Fifty five. I'm gonna put. Damn. I'm put. Is Eddie Levert still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. I'm putting I just seen a, him on Instagram this morning. I'm putting... For real? Yeah. You follow a lot of old niggas, Jack. Yeah, I do. I'm, uh, I'm an old nigga. I'm 40. For real? Yeah. I'm putting him in there. Hey, I look good for 40? I'm putting him in there. Uh, damn. 
I don't know niggas' ages though, uh, Jack. This, I mean, did you know I was forty? Nah, I actually thought you were older than that. I gave you probably like 48, 49. I thought you about to hit 50. But you just do young nigga shit and wear young nigga clothes. I'm one of them niggas. I thought you were, but you... I pride myself on not being one an old nigga that dress young. Man, Jack. Man, help me out. Bro, this funny shit. I was laughing about 15 minutes at some shit you said, bro. And this is how you know I ain't lying. Bro, you said a female mis mistaken, is that the right word I could use? Mistaken. Mistaken. Because I was going to say mistook. <laughs> <laughs> she mistaken you for young Jeezy. Yeah. <laughs> That happened when I, that happened for real. So, bro, you had your hat on like I get, paint the picture for me. Bro. Okay, so I'm, I'm I gotta be at this time 22, yeah. 23 or something like that. And I was at a David Banner video shoot. It was these two white girls and shit, and they were trap or die had just came out. Yeah, and they was going crazy. Over, man, I ain't know what Young Jeezy looked like. Oh, okay. I heard the name everywhere. And whatnot, but uh, you know, I ain't know what the nigga looked like, and they, <coughs> and they were all up on me and shit, grabbing my dick and shit, and goddamn feeling on me and whatnot. So I was just going with it. Uh -huh. So they took me to the car, goddamn, you know what I'm saying, fuck the shit out of me and all this other both stuff. Both of them? Yeah, both of them. Hey, Jay, man, he, bro. <laughs> both of them. I was 23. You more lit this nigga with two eyes, man. Bro, I'm trying to tell you. Yes, it was uh, it was David Banner. And that and nigga Jesus probably watching this shit like, damn, that shit that need happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> and me and Jeezy talked about this a couple of times. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, we talked about this shit a couple of times, but it's actually an interview and stuff where we we talk about it, me, me looking like him, and uh, and I was like, yeah, I just got to get my, uh, I could be your stunt double and shit. And he said, yeah, man, well, you know, we just got to get your eye fixed. I know somebody that can fix the shit. But I didn't want to ask the nigga for nothing, so you know what I'm saying? Nah, I had to decline that, him fixing my a, eye. If a nigga suggests to ask, all he can say is yes or no. He he said he was going to get my eye fixed. I would have I took him up on his own. Yeah, I should have did it. it. Yo, yo, Jesus, don't forget what you said. You was going to fix my eye? Yep. Yeah. Cash out went out then. I was like, cash out. No, it wasn't nowhere near out. Yeah, cash out right now. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was nowhere near out. But And he he seemed very sincere about it, too. Yeah. This was about 2012. If a nigga 11, tell you he fucked two girls off looking like you, mm -hmm. you got to fuck with him. Yeah, you got to fuck with him. So now he got to make you the best, like, appearance looking him as you could be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he would have had to invest. Hey, but let me ask you this. Why'd you bring this story up right now within this? Um... What were we just talking about? Yeah, you you were saying that, that that was funny to you, and then but it had segues off of um, because I was like me being a young nigga that that dress older. Oh, I just felt like when you said young nigga dressing like that, I was like I'm thinking big clothes and all that type of shit. So that would make me think about that Jeezy era, and then I just seen you say that. Okay, so you 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 feel like I, I dress uh, older? No. Nah. How you feel like I dress? <laughs> it's okay. Jack. It's okay. Like, you dress like Jack. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you the, like Jack, you like in the same boat as me, bro. We just put comfortable clothes on, I feel like we should. Yeah, I'm like, you're not going to see me. I don't do the skinny jean thing. And that's not my, not my era. Never was my era. I hated on it. And, you know, and I thought I was hating on it because I thought it was gay. I, it's not gay. It's just that it don't look right on me. Oh, yeah. And that's why I was hating. The way we built, bro, we yeah. n that's not for us. It's not for Everything us. Everything ain't for everybody. It ain't for us. If we wear skinny jeans and it look like we have a shape, yeah. no, don't wear that. Yeah. 100%. I wear sweatpants. Mm -hmm. I wear sweatpants like a female basketball player. Mm -hmm. Like you won't see them in jeans. You won't see them in nothing but sweats. Mm hmm and that's how I dress. I dress casual, like a WNBA point guard. Hey, I was just about to say, because a lot of people think I'm a stud when I wear tight clothes. 
and they, they as they should. Yeah, so I don't, I don't, <laughs> I, I try my best to, you know, <coughs> dress as masculine as I can. Got I to, bro. Have a lot of feminine features in my face. Like what? You just my cheekbones and whatnot, because I'm very, <laughs> very pretty nigga. <laughs> bro. Yes, sir. So your ex-wife, what? Marlon, 50 Cent. <laughs> Tony Roberts. Tony Rock. Oh, Tony Rock. Yeah. Hey, at least she ain't fucking old. What if she would have fucked a comedian who not funny? I'm, I'm pretty sure she probably has. Yeah, but she didn't give you to. But the name she named, you can't even hate on them niggas. I can't. I was just mad because them niggas was better than me. And they was. And they is. And they still is. <laughs> Like you, you, you sitting there holding that bitch like, bitch, you could do better than me. You was doing better than hey, me. Bro, them niggas didn't want this bitch. That's what made it worse for me. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> cause like you said before, <laughs> I'm the fool. And you who, said yes. I said she yes. laying in the bed like somebody probably said like, what you doing? Nothing laying here with rock bottom. <laughs> like you was rock bottom, Jack. I done been a bitch rock bottom before. Last resort. But she was my rock bottom, too. Oh. And, boy, uh. when we got our money right, we both left each other. I couldn't fucking wait. <laughs> you 100%. Yeah, man. What, what's her problem? What, what, what you what you, what you uh, couldn't really fuck with her on? Nothing. It was just convenient. It was just convenient. How did you know she wasn't good enough for you? Well, I knew I wasn't good enough for her, neither. Like, we were just, you know how sometimes you just be doing shit, just like, but after you be like, bro, we sit and watching this small ass TV. <laughs> <laughs> Got the stove open to get heat in this motherfucker. Like, bro, what the fuck are we doing? That bitch had the smallest space heater I ever seen. Like, you know one of those space heaters that you have at a desk, at a work office? That bitch told me some, give me some cover, I'm cold. Bitch, why you think I got all the cover? Bro, I, I ain't never had it that bad. Yeah. The, the worst thing I ever did. I was 19, I think. Oh, God. You was slumming like that at 19? I, Yo, I, it sounded like this one of them stories where your mama told you, don't fuck with that bitch. Nah, well, what's so crazy? I didn't even have to. I'm thinking I'm trying to help this bitch out. Oh, you tried to save her? Yeah, but No. I'm I'm thinking I'm helping this bitch out. Like, she brings something to the table. She had the car. I had a little spot. We come together. Boom. We help each other out. She had the car. We couldn't put gas in it. Like, it's just like, bro. <laughs> like, we going nowhere fast. Stop fucking with Lightning her. speed. Stop fucking with her. I got back with my goddamn ex from high school. I got her pregnant immediately. Cause she was on the right track. Mm. Got her pregnant immediately. We get us a spot. And What's she we cute? Good. Who my uh? The high school sweetheart. Nah, she had a nice shape. She had. That, nice. Did she, they immediately get yeah, pregnant? She was beautiful. She had yeah. a beautiful shape. Gotcha. But now it was at the point was like, man, I didn't even have to do that. <laughs> I could have stayed at the house with my mom and dad. I ain't even have to be out here like this. They fuck with you like that too, don't they? Yeah, I, I chose the life I live, man. What what made you want to move out the house? Lazy. You move. You wanted to move out the house because you were lazy. Yeah. Oh, they had you doing chores over there. <laughs> yeah. You know, at a certain age, like, hey, man, who the fuck y'all talking to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this big now. <laughs> this big Navarius yeah. out this bitch. You gotta think at big eight. Navante. <laughs> At 18, bro, mm. you on the phone talking to the bitch, your mama coming out. Hey, you need to get in there and watch them. Di Whoa. Yeah. You got to put the phone on your yeah, like, on your, on your shit like this yeah. so you don't, that sound don't go through. Yeah, all that yeah. type of shit. Get yeah, out, I, I remember that. Get out there and rake the yard. Whoa, man, rake what the, the yard. fuck? Holy shit. Let me get, when I wake up, I try to get the hell on. Mm. 
and stay gone as long as possible. So your mom and dad was embarrassing you in front of the hoes, and that's what made you want to get out the house. Man, one time I had I had company. Okay. This, oh my God. One time I had company. We in there chilling. Yeah. We in there chilling in my room. Oh I'm talking shit. About we vibe. Th that's your space. Yeah, this my space. This my this my studio apartment. Yeah. My dad done hit the door, hey, open that goddamn door, and kept walking down the hall. I said, oh, yeah, I got to get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> I could have been in here fucking. Easy. So either you don't respect me to think that I'm fucking, <laughs> or you don't care that I'm fucking. Yeah, yeah. Either way, I'm two wrongs. Mm -hmm. I said, I got to get my shit, man. <laughs> and then that's when me and the nothing-ass bitch that was in the room hopped in her car, moved my little shit in her car, Got us a little spot. Did she she amp you up? Like she like yo, what's what the fuck, man? Well, I thought the bitch had money. <laughs> Dude, what made you think that? Cause she had a car. She had a car. Yeah, and she had a little cash on her all the time, but she was fucking up the refund check. They only give you one of them. Yeah, one. And the did bitch, she have a kid? No. Oh, oh, she was yeah. kid free at the time. Yeah, a lot of us were. We were fresh out of high school. Got you. Yeah. If she watching this, she know. I yeah. ain't lying on her. I don't know if she doing better for herself or not, but I probably, I doubt it. I had a similar story like that. I moved out when I was like, you was 19? Yeah. I was like 17 and whatnot. My um, Damn. mama bust in, I was getting my ass ate. <laughs> and I, would, I had my head in the pillow, I was biting the pillow and she walked in and I was like, Aah! I was screaming, I was so mad. Screaming into the pillow. Ah! The fuck? I immediately got went soft and I was like, no, I'm out this bitch. Bruh. I'm tired of this no. shit. I'm so tired. Of no. You are out of bounds. I no. took my Usher no. picture off the road. I had a big ass picture of Usher over my bed. No. Took that motherfucker down. <laughs> Ain't no way at 17 a bitch was eating your ass, bro. Yeah, man. It, it was out there. Jay, you done live a hell of a fire life, yeah, bro. Man. But, bro, for you to be biting a pillow, why was she going so fucking ferocious on you? It, 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 keep in mind, my ass was new then. So you ain't like, you ain't, I didn't have the talent. Jay, that I got you watch sports, bro. Let's little change bit, the subject. A little bit. Yeah, let's change the subject. Because I think on certain situations, subjects, you go, you get too in detail. So, yeah. for instance. Yeah. With your mom busting the room, you said you was getting your ass ate. That's already wrong. To an extent. And my mom, because it's my no, mom. No, but what made it wronger, that you were biting a pillow. So, if you biting a pillow, you trying to keep from screaming. Do you I, understand? I was, Why else are you biting the pillow? I was feeling good. <laughs> I was feeling good, man, about myself. I almost ripped Bruh, that motherfucker apart. Females, like, bite, oh! females bite pillow as a nigga. Let that shit out. Huh? But you biting the pillow? She done turned you to a bitch. She done blew my hat. So your mom, imagine your mama going around here, yeah, jack a little hoe now. All she said is you biting the pillow. <laughs> yeah, I you, see what you're saying. You get that from your mama's side. I see. I see what you're saying. That makes sense. Your dad. I know your dad would have been embarrassed. You got a relationship with your dad? No. No. Yeah. No. We uh, but we cool. <laughs> we cool because I'm one of them niggas that don't need a daddy. You feel me? Yeah, it's better when you biting pillows. That'll make me stop wanting to be cool with my son. Hey, man, that nigga gonna <laughs> raise himself. Yeah. Like, I just, I ain't, I just never been like one of them people that just like, man, my daddy wasn't there for me. Why won't you pay attention to me? And when, when it wasn't never no shit like that. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I just really feel like you know we. Jack, do you still bite pillows? Yeah, to this day. So that shit just it probably genetic. He probably bite pillows too. You gotta ask your mama. That's a good question. Have you ever made dad bite a pillow? That's a good question. 
Jack, you dead ass wrong, man. That, man, at all, you, how many times you live? As far as we know, one. Nigga, if you make it out this life and don't get your ass ate, shame on you. Man, you hell. Shame on you. Shame on fucking you. Hey, you know, when everything go wrong, right? When yeah. all else fails, you know what I can say about my marriage? What that? Hey, she ate my ass, though. Yeah, and she ate the mother nigga's ass, too. You the, you the 17th comedian ass she ate. So it's like, you can't feel special at a point. Like, so it's like... How many comedians you think really asking to get their ass ate? You think she just did it on GP because it was you? I'd like to. Oh, yeah. I definitely like to. I like to think that I'm the only one that be think, like, you know what? So you asked her to do that? Yeah, I asked her to do that. <laughs> you 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 wondering how I would ask that? I, Jack, I don't want to know. I really don't want to know. Because I don't know how you can ask that and, and sound like a, a straight up real nigga. Hey, have you ever had a nigga ass before? <laughs> so when you asked her that, what'd she say? I I mean She did she say yes or no? She said no. She tried to act like she did like what? Huh? Oh yeah, she did. Yeah, did she did some more bullshit like that? Yeah, she did. Yeah, so you, like nobody don't really ever like come out, come out. But at the end of the day, you know what I found out about what? life, period, when it comes to just just interaction in between men and women and, you know, just at 40 years old, uh -huh. it's just skin. Yeah, but the it's only just thing, skin, bro. the only thing like as a man, you don't never want to be doing the biting the pillow and the... <gasps> And the gas who who out. makes these man rules? I don't know. I I don't know who make them, but I think it's a it's a code of ethics and morals. And I could be wrong. I, could I think be you, right. you. I think you want me to tell you why you were wrong. Mm -hmm. Why I think you could be wrong. And why? just go with me right here. You putting yourself in a space where like, damn. If I seen a nigga biting a pillow, I probably wouldn't fuck with him. But you keep in mind you don't fuck with whoa, niggas anyway, whoa, whoa, so why whoa. would you yeah, even? Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what I'm saying? You see where I'm going with this? I think it's the way you word shit, Jack. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's that wine or what. Uh, I don't care what a nigga do. I'm talking about as for me. Yeah. I don't want to be biting a pillow. I don't want to be gasping for air. You, if, uh, well, express yourself. Express yourself. You don't need the pillow. Yeah. You but, don't. Once you once you bit that pillow, did you feel like I'm tripping? No. Do you, don't I think that's why your mom was more upset that you was biting the pillow, not you getting your ass ate. She probably thought about that after. Then girl, he in there getting his ass ate. Had the whole had my whole fucking pillow in his mouth. Women love they home decor. You in there biting your mama fucking pillow. That's disrespectful to the whole household. Bad enough you fucking in her house. You not even fucking, you getting your ass ate. Getting your ass, and it's so much to this story that we haven't developed. I ain't smoking weed. I ain't, I ain't, ain't enjoying no game. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't setting a house on fire. You ain't, ain't selling your, dope. You ain't there getting your ass ate. Toot it up in her fucking house. Biting a fucking pillow. Them stories you think you gon' she probably was relieved to know that she was gonna have a son. Who I ain't never gotta worry about catching my daughter getting her ass ate in her room. Boom! Busting your room is my fucking son. God, how do you forsake me? My only begotten son. In here getting his ass ain't biting no pillow. I see what you did. I see exactly what you did right there. I see exactly what you did. Hey, shift leader, man. Talk to me about th this character. How does this even come up, man? Did you start off being a shift leader at a um in a fast food Hell situation? No, I, never you... work, I never worked a fast food job. In your life? Nah. That wasn't my thing. And not and not the 
you know, like, but I just like I. Never you ain't shitting on nobody, hustle. Not, but I, I, I was like, I never do that. How do you know the jargon and all this then? Um, uh, like what you mean? Like, do you do the the backstories and the situations? So look, I done had a job before, so I know how it is for a nigga who think they run a job who only a shift lead. You know what I'm saying? So that's how we use the term of it. But uh, it was at a time when uh, Ratchet People Meet was doing. Ratchet People Meet? Yeah, so they they had the Are they still people. around? Uh, they still have a page, yeah. Okay. So uh, Who run that? Uh, archive. Uh, archive. You still in contact with them? Uh, man, mostly, yeah. I, I, I can get in contact when you need the contact. That's what's up, man. Yeah, I, I like to talk to those folk. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, That's what's up. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Yeah, you good. Uh, so, it was about doing a character. So, I had already did a skit about ICDC. I was like, if you graduate from ICDC, they ain't like you go out to do something good in life, you end up being a shift leader at May. Is that Open Campus? You never knew ICDC, uh, Romeo School. Lil Romeo? Yeah. Lil Romeo? Yeah. Master P. Son? Yeah. You ain't never seen that commercial? ICDC. Oh, he was doing them commercials and shit. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know what it was, though. Yeah. yeah. It was so, Ratchet People Meet, they was doing like people come down and do, they had reached out to So Say. He be doing uh, Pick One okay. on, on Instagram. Okay. He do that Atlanta music. So luckily he had needed a ride to go down there, but they wanted him. So I was like, uh, I'll take you down there. But I already had my idea. I was going to do the shift leader character. I wrote it on the shirt and boom, I was going to do it. Did that shit. That shit hit. So I did a couple more. Like everybody was fucking with that shit, loving that shit. So then it's like, you know, they start requesting the shit. People sometimes send topics and all that type of shit. So I just started fucking with it. But then it was a point of time, like, around 2017, 2016, 2018, around that time, I got tired of doing the shit. But then I had to realize, bro, that shit bigger than me. This how some people know me. They don't even know that I do stand up. They only fuck with this shit for the character. So, nigga, you not bigger than, you not bigger than who, you, nobody's bigger than who they think they are. Like, sometimes we not even doing this. Like, God don't give you talents for you to decide when you want to use them and how you're going to use them. He give it for you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You might get somebody through their day with that. Mm -hmm. So that's when I was like, bro, I'm gonna, if I can make it funny, which I should, I just got to start thinking more. I'm feeling like I done did the most a shift leader could do. Like, what else can this nigga do at the shift leader level? But I be coming up with shit. So that helps. It's an amazing character, man. I enjoy your, your skits. I enjoy your comedy, bro. You an amazing talent now. I appreciate it. Hey, dog. Uh, that mean a lot coming from you. You done been around the best of the best. Yeah, man. Yeah, and... You got longevity in this shit, too. Yeah, hey, bro, you keep getting better and better. Like, like, oh, yeah, and I'm going to keep getting better. better. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 man, and to the, to the, I just want to talk to, you know, the people of the uh, the 85 community. Man, it ain't no motherfucking beef between me and Nav Green. Nah, the beef. It, I, and I had to explain that. Like, it never was a beef between me and Jack Thriller. They, they can't see through Carlos. Carlos' whole design was to put me and you against each other. Bro, see, and that's why I went, with you, you so, you so green, you didn't see it either. I was the only smart one to know. So now, if Carlos sit here and watch this episode, he gonna sit there and roll his eyes and be punching the wall. He never wanted to see this shit happen. Me and you sitting like friends, talking, having fun. He wanted us to hate each other so he could put us against each other. That's that's like Satan coming to steal, kill, and destroy. You said it. In the same breath, I appreciate everything he done did for Man, me. Man, because they dog, let me tell you something. There ain't nobody better than him. Hey, that nigga, he got damn. We go. I'm gonna talk shit. I about praise him. his name. But that nigga. That nigga a change a motherfucking life, boy. Do I can't you hear, hear me? That. 
Do you hear me? I hey dog, I've been Chris been going Christmas shopping every day for the past um two months now, trying to find the perfect gift. You know what I'm saying? To show my love and gratitude, you know what I'm saying, for even being inside this position and whatnot, man. He, I, he's a you go doing really too great much. friend. If you do and that I, shit and I, give him a good Christmas gift, now what you think he gonna he gonna have plenty of shit to say about me then? Don't give him shit, bro. Cause then you putting pressure on me. Don't do shit. Just tell him Merry Christmas like I'm gonna do, nigga. Uh, you go with all that extra shit and you gonna put me. That's when we gonna start beefing. If you get that nigga a Christmas gift, you might as well get ready, nigga. We beef. Don't buy that nigga shit. And you talking about you been going for the last two months. Like you went and thought, so I know your Christmas gift gonna be great. No, don't do shit. Because you, well, when I say that, I, what do you get the guy that got everything? Get him a Bomb City shirt. As a matter of fact, I should get him a Bomb City shirt. There you go. That's right. There you go. That's right. Uh, brilliant, open minds uh, become conscious individuals to you. And he going to love that because it stands for something. That's right. Yeah. And get, that's right. BombCityGear.com. I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him an outfit. You don't mind if I do that, right? Yeah, we'll still get, be cool. Yeah, get him that same color. Shout he gonna out love to my that. man Jay Lee. <laughs> he gonna love that. Give yeah. him that same hey, color. Hey, I'm, I'm a little colorblind right now. What color is it? Uh, I would say salmon. <laughs> man, City told me this was great. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, it's depending how you look at it. <laughs> Some bullshit. All right, um, yo, Nav, man, you know this is the first of many times. You know, what I'm saying you are gonna be at uh, New Jack Dollar City, man. I hey, don't know, cause I've been I've been trying to goddamn get on the show. You for very a busy, bro. I ain't that damn. You busy. hard to get. You hard to get a hold of, my dog. You 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 flaked on me the first day. How? You flaked on me. You you were supposed to be here on on uh, 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 the, the last slide I had and shit, and then you ain't even come. I got I still got the text message from Ryan saying, "Yeah, now hey, bro, look, you got to think about the people that you talk to that don't fuck with me. Ryan don't fuck with me. <laughs> Thank God for City. Like they put us in the group thread. I didn't know what was going on today, bro. Ryan don't fuck with me." And Los fuck with me to an extent. So you got to think with them two, just start hitting me up. Gotcha. I never knew about the first day. Gotcha. That's what happened. They playing me. They playing us against each other. Bro, I just they told know, you this shit. They know if ago. we come together and start doing some shit, working together, building our own shit, then we going to be still needing them. <laughs> Hey, man, tell them what you got coming up next, man, and how they can reach you. Oh, uh, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Christian Mingle. Follow me on all that shit, man. Nav Green, N-A-V-V-G-R-E-E-N-E. -E -E. I'm on all these websites. Man, I got shows coming up. I really don't give out dates because we know how uh, this stuff get edited and placed. We never know when this come out. So just... <laughs> And then I'm on this episode. This shit might not ever air. <laughs> bro, you don't know how these niggas do me, bro. One day, I, I done shot so many 85 South episodes, and I know when I'm not going to be on. They don't even turn the camera on. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, these niggas just wanted me to come up here and kick it. <laughs> but if y'all do, man, I do, I do stand up, man. I do stand up. For hey, me. you you got a sports show coming out on 85 South. Yeah, man. And uh, hopefully that's still coming out. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely going to come out. Yeah, man. But Chad said so. Yeah, my first my first guest going to be my favorite comedian. Oh, man. Come on, bro. Got to have my boy. Come on, bro. Got to have my boy Carlos Miller on now, the first episode. Yeah. Second episode going to be one of... One of the dopest niggas under the 85 okay. South umbrella. Okay. Gotta have that boy DC on that second episode. Now, 
I would be wrong if I ain't had one of the best people that I know that know how to interview people. Okay. Know how to talk to people. Okay. Drink wine. Yeah, okay. Elegant. Come come on now. Gotta have Lex P. Gotta have Lex P to facilitate and you know know how to try to work up one too. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. And then, but how can I forget? Somebody that done been around the game so long. Right. From music. Oh. Having their own shows already. Gotta have that boy Chico on there. That would be a good addition to have Chico on there, his <laughs> knowledge in music. That's right, because Chico, he, he know what he's talking about yep. in that regard. Yeah. And you welcome to do it if you want. I appreciate you inviting me, and I, I, I love to come through, you know, whatever I can do to help. Appreciate you, Jack. No problem, man. So, Man, I enjoy it myself here. I. <laughs> so, man, hey, thanks for coming to New Jack Thriller City, man. I um, I hope everybody had a good time. I'll see you next time. Hey, DJ Wiz, go on, take us out, baby. I had to get these hoes. I had to get these hoes. I had to get these hoes. Someone to love, I said, I had to get these hoes.